Sandy. No way, Mom. Then why do I see your toys all over the place? Yeah, there's even a guy in my cereal. He fell out of the box when I was born. Okay, we didn't bring any of these guys down here, Mom. It's not us supposed to expect me to believe that these little people just walk down here all by themselves and make this mess. I want this cleaned up now. place where Madison will never find her. Oh, good job. What else can we do to torture her? The weevils. The what? The weevils. They're these stupid roly-poly dolls that live in a storybook house. Madison loves them. Uh, what are we going to do with them? Let's just say there's going to be some terror in Tiny Town. He's definitely going to drive Madison nuts. Hey, guys. Yeah, Mom? I'm going to the food store, and I'm bringing Madison with me. I have my cell phone. I expect the two of you to behave while I'm gone. Okay, okay Mom. Aunt Sandy. Let's go to your apartment. Madison's room. I bet we'll find early in there. <sighs> We've been through everything. He's not in here. I'm beginning to think we're never going to get Hurley back. Then we'll just keep taking Madison's stuff until she cracks. Oh, sniffles. We'll put her in the ceiling with Susie Sparkle. What the? Someone cut all the weevils down. Madison. How could Madison have done it? She's out shopping, remember? Maybe there's a burglar in the house. Burglars break into your house to steal things, not mess up your kitchen and play with your toys. Well, well then maybe your mom was right. Maybe those little people are walking around by themselves. Seriously? What the heck is that? Looks like a note. Well, what does it say? The writing's too small to read. Town meeting tonight at midnight. Be there. 